Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. Last time left off, we heard a whole bunch of more secrets from this game for his case, and it's like, come on, more? And it turns out that Maki can actually speak and understand English, but just a little bit. And apparently no one knew, not even Lemuar. So, he's, he's still saying that yes, I was there, but he did not shoot him. He, he still says that I did not shoot him. And now we're actually going to have Lemuar testify about what she heard. <clears throat> I mean, because it's like, yeah, she said she heard a voice, but we need more detail than that. She heard voices, but I need to know what you heard exactly. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage area. The exit, whatever. That's when I heard them. Mr. Latus and the detective. I heard, I heard the faint sound of a gunshot and stopped. Then I heard another gunshot. There was a smell of gunpowder. I knew I must tell someone, but I was in a hurry, so I kept moving past the small window. In a hurry? Hmm. Hmm, pretty much the same as yesterday's testimony. I am sorry. I am not used to speaking much in this language. Perhaps it, it, my descriptions are lacking in some way. Yet, everything I have said here is the truth. Then it is my dis distinct displeasure to say this. What you have said to have happened is impossible. Do I have to repeat myself? Lemuar was attacked because of this testimony. What? Chusi? Apollo, you know, for a moment there, you were pretty cool. Maybe I do better when I don't try to think ahead. Man, I could, that, that doesn't happen for a lot of people, you know. Very well, Mr. Justice. Perhaps you can coolly cross-examine the witness. Yeah, I'll coolly sh shut up. All right. Um. Okay. So, like I said before, she says that she heard them, but I want to know what they were saying. That's I. Maybe that would help. Darion Crescent. I did not know his name at the time, but yes, it was him, the one who took the stand yesterday. How many times do I need to remind you that's impossible? There's no way you could have heard it. Because the window at the scene was closed? Is that why? Of course. Apollo, if we keep asking the same questions as yesterday, we won't get anywhere. She's right. Maybe there's a different angle I can try. You like I, okay, like I said, what the hell are they talking about? Lemuar, did you by any chance remember what they were saying to each other? If so, please tell us. I have given it much reflection, but I was afraid of this. She, she doesn't remember. I only heard one phrase clearly. A whole phrase? You remember something that was said? Why didn't you say something yesterday? But though my memory is clear, I was afraid to speak. You see, I do not understand what was said. This could be it. The clue I've been waiting for. Well, what did he say? It was the other man speaking, not Mr. Latouse. The shooter, then. Dorian Crescent. Well, what did he say? It's over. Press the switch. Now. Switch? And the shooter said this to the victim, Mr. Latouse? I thought it quite strange myself afterward. Hmm. It is a mystery. What could it possibly mean? Mr. Justice, do you care to shed some light on this? Uh, I mean, sure. It's very, uh, very vital. Uh, before we, maybe we could add that to testimony. Maybe, Apollo? I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so from the small window, I heard a voice say, Press the switch now. You know what? I got a perfect thing to present that on because, but remember, we have our freaking switch. Remote trigger. Remote, remote trigger. It's a switch, isn't it? Objection! Press the switch. There's only one key that can lock the mystery of those words. Oh? Yet there was nothing at the scene that could be called the switch. Save the lights. True, there wasn't a switch at the scene. But it just so happens, I have a switch right here. That certainly does look like a switch, doesn't it? The problem is... This was found not at the scene of the crime, but on the stage. The stage? Where the concert was held, yes. This was found hidden there. On the stage. Are you claiming that the voice that you are heard was some sort of commanding another to press the switch? It's a possibility. Hmm. 
Oh, air forehead. I call that an. I'll call. I'll. Yeah, I'd call that an impossibility. Why? It's hardly necessary for me to remind the core of the layout of the concert forum. The stage is quite far from Lemuar's dressing room. Not to mention that the Gaveneers were in the middle of a concert on said stage. We aren't known for being a quiet band. We could shout all you wanted and not be heard. The detective's voice was loud, but certainly not a shout. So too have Air Force's cries of possibility fallen far short of being heard. Sorry, but he wouldn't have needed a shout. Excuse me? You heard what I said. Or did you need me to shout it out for you? Burn. It would have been quite simple to be heard on the stage from that dressing room. Oh wait, you like evidence, don't you? And how about this? Using this will be an easy to get a message to someone on stage from the dressing room. And it would be awesome to present this headset. Remember, it has a 30-foot range, and it seems quite possible that it's going to be able to affect the, the, both the dressing rooms and the stage as well, so boom. Prosecutor Gavin, perhaps you're familiar with this. Uh, why is that? What? What is it? Is that some kind of a new fangled phone they invented while I wasn't looking? <laughs> this is a type of transmitter, a communications device. Communications? Device? From what I've heard that night, everyone on stage was wearing one of these. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Prosecutor Gavin? Th yes, actually. For talking between band members. We all heard we all had one on. So you admit that if you were wearing one of these, talking from the backstage to the stage will be simple. Objection! True, but wait! They'll send out an electronic signal. To avoid interference with the audio systems, our range is quite limited. Then we once said it was about 30 feet, right? Look at this cross-section cross diagram of this concert forum. Ah, exactly. The walk from the stage to the backstage team seems far. The direct distance is less than 30 feet. That can't be! So, when Lemuar heard the shooter's voice, he could have been talking to someone on stage. Oh, ha ha! Ha! You're claiming this is a switch in question? Why did it have to be on the stage at a time? It could be placed in a pocket and carried anywhere. Someone could have hit it on the stage after the fact. Hey, he's got a point. How do we know that it was it was the, where it was when she heard the voice? When the shooter said press the switch. Well, I guess we don't. Ah, an unfortunate situation. I'm afraid that until we know where the switch was, there's little point in debating it. Ah, I'm sure this was the way to go with this. What is this switch anyway? We don't even know what that basic. We don't even know that basic fact. Wait a second. I do know what the switch is. And if you follow that train of logic to its incredible conclusion, it ends up in proof that completely changes this case. What's up, Apollo? Apollo? We know about the switch, right? We know what it is. Yeah? Well, think of when it was used that day. Think of when it. Think of what happened. Well, Mr. Justice? If you have no further information to share concerning the switch, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Justice. I've been re I've been remiss in not telling the court this before. I know what the switch is. Hmm. Well, it seems the defense is set upon linking the switch to the case. Let's see your evidence of the link. What evidence do you have to explain what the switch is? And remember, remember when we press the switch? Does it say what? It, okay, so it, see, it triggers an igniter. So we know what the switch does, so that means that it's linked to this igniter. And remember, the igniter was found inside uh, Gavin's guitar as well, so think about that for a little bit. Try putting things together right now, and try thinking of separate like timelines of stuff that's going on. I think you guys might be able to put two and two together right now. Prosecutor Gavin, you remember this. Uh, that's that! That what? Is that another one of those new fangle phones? This is an igniter. What phone looks like this? Igniter? You mean it's a lighter? Yes, actually. You aren't saying the switch is a remote? I am. 
This is a remote trigger for an igniter. What? Look, I'll show you. Yeah, 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 wow, well, Mr. Justice, you will cease and desist from burning down his courtroom. Uh, sorry. That was a bit of far, a bit more fire than I expected. If my whiskers had caught on fire. Prosecutor Gavin, let me repeat myself. This switch is a remote igniter trigger. Doesn't that suggest something to you? You're talking about what happened to me, to happen to me, aren't you? Ah! Exactly. That night, the concert, there was one unusual burst of flame. And that was when his guitar decided to blow up. When your guitar caught fire in the middle of your performance. Wasn't that part of the stage show, though? The prosecutor gave him was entirely unaware such a thing had been planned. The guitar that burned was a valuable keepsake. That's right. He got it in Virginia from Lemuar. He said that sound with the sound was amazing. Before it burned, of course. Now it just kind of kind of smokes. The better the guitar, the brighter it burns. Air forehead? Yeah? Don't tell me you're trying to tie those two things together. Those being the shooter's voice heard by Lamuar? And the guitar suddenly catching on fire? I am. It's really simple when you think about it. Mr. Lotus and the shooter were at the, were at the crime scene. The shooter was wearing a headset. He ordered someone on stage to press the switch. The switch was pressed, and the guitar got fi caught fire. Well, that does seem to make sense. Though, something about it is bugging me. Can't quite put my finger on it. Really? Seems pretty simple to me. Objection! Air Forehead, don't destroy a little respect I have for you. He doesn't have that much respect for me? Aw. I was expecting something a little more... sensible. I guess I was wrong. What's this all about, Prosecutor Gavin? His simple story simply makes no sense. Think, that night my guitar caught fire, yeah. The cause may have been this, indeed. However, the guitar caught fire during the second set. Uh, that's right, of course. Uh, well, the, the, guitar, the guitar caught fire during Lemuar's song. Indeed, yet the shooting happened during the third set. The two are utterly unrelated. Hmm, yes, that must have been what was bugging me. The whole premise for this is faulty. See? This story makes no sense. Objection! Are you sure about that? What exactly do you mean, Mr. Justice? Maybe it's not the premise for my explanation of the switch that's all f at, that it's f that's at fault here. Maybe it's our premise for the entire case so far. What premise is this specifically? I'm glad you asked. I'm saying that maybe the killing didn't take place in the third act. Objection! There we go. What's this? The detective Abbott Sky heard shots and found that body. All this happened in the third act. Objection! Gunshots rang out. And according to the testimony, Maki was in that dressing room at the time. Where are you going with this, Mr. Justice? Stay with me, Your Honor. He also told us this in, the, in his testimony. Namely, that the victim had already been shot. We all heard gunshots, but no one saw the shooting. This... This is insane! And just before the shooting took place, the shooter was heard on his headset, telling someone to press the switch. The next moment, Prosecutor Gave's guitar burst into flame. We know that a remote trigger igniter was used inside a guitar. From all these facts, we can draw only one conclusion. The crime did not take place during the third act. But during the ballot performance, the second act. What? Ah, uh, here we go. Order, order, order. But that goes against the evidence. What? What does your honor? This crime was carried out according to the lyrics of that song. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. Look, the bullet's supposed to come after the fire. You're thinking about it the wrong way, huh? Look. Why would you shoot a crafty events of the day to follow the lyrics anyway? It's an awful lot of trouble to go through, with little merit for the person doing it. Well, I'm sure whoever it was had some reason. Yes, they did. A reason that made an adva advantage to follow the lyrics. You're saying the, the order was reversed on purpose? Hmm. Reversed, Prosecutor Gavin? If the criminal followed the lyrics strictly, then yes. The shooting would have come after the guitar burst into flame. 
Yet Air Forehead has raised another possibility. He's claiming that the bullet came not after, but before the fire. Couldn't couldn't have put it better myself. We were only meant to think the shooter came the shooting came after the guitar burst into flames. That was the criminal's objective. The crime followed the lyrics to a point, but that was the that was the ruse. Why else would a killer risk discovery by moving a body? That was the final touch to make us think he'd follow the lyrics the whole way. Very smart killer we got here. Order! 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 That would explain him this, this most unusual situation here. It does! The killer changed the order of events to create himself an alibi. In other words, the killer was someone who had an alibi for the third set, but not the second! Ah, uh, we, I, I, we all know what's going on here now. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but sadly it has. Let me tell you why your little fairy tale makes no sense at all. Oh crap. Oh, it sounds good, I'll give you that. You're giving us a reason why the killer bothered following the lyrics of my song. But I question your logic. For it's flawed from the very beginning. Flawed? Yes, contradiction, Air Forehead, one I pointed out several times, no less. At the time of the crime, the small window at the scene was closed. How could Lamuar have heard a voice through it? Oh, I know you would like to divert our attention from this critical fact, but you're basing your, your entire line of reasoning on a false premise. Right. Lamuar's testimony is my entire case. That voice she heard? The shooter's voice? What if she couldn't hear it, Apollo? Look, what do we have? A man saying press the switch, and near the crime scene we have a switch, which acts as a remote trigger for an igniter, and last but not least, Prosecutor Games fl a flaming guitar. It can't all be, the be coincidence, but how do I make it work? I see a more direct line of questioning is required here, and the crime scene was investigated immediately after the crime. That window was closed! Care to tell us how Lamuar heard a voice? Key point to be sure. Mr. Justice, can you explain this to the court? Okay, Justice, you've got one thing to prove and one thing only. Lemuar heard a voice, and she heard it during the second set. Think, how was Lemuar able to hear the voice? How was she able to hear the voice, guys? We'll find out next time. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. I'll see you guys later.